What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back in again with another video. So we're going to check out how Adam will book the Royal Rumble 2022. I know you guys have been asking me to check this out since this video dropped. And uh, I definitely was uh, looking forward to checking it out. So here you guys go. I'm going to drop this, obviously, before the Royal Rumble. Um, I'm probably going to drop this the day of the Royal Rumble. So I'm filming this on Friday. Um, so I, I want to get this out to you guys. It'll probably be an earlier morning upload since the Rumble is at 7 my time. Uh, so this is going to be dope. I'm sure he's going to kill it. Anytime he does his own bookings, it's always damn near superior to what we get on the main roster on television so this should be a good one 33 minutes long so you guys sit back relax i'm gonna sit back relax this is gonna be a good one appreciate all the love and support man um road to 70k and let's see how adam will book the royal rumble this year Adam hailing from parts fun known and it's the most rumbleful time of the year. Not nothing WWE can do can dim my enthusiasm of the Royal Rumble and this year is no different. In fact, it is the first time in forever that the fans have been in attendance for the Royal Rumble. I am so excited. So let's get on with the booking. Normally I do a big, huge intro to provide important historical context and background. And a lot of people have been leaving comments, helpful comments uh, with timestamps so that people can avoid watching that preamble. And f you too, but no, <laughs> we're jumping right into it. Let's rebook some rumbles. Let me have a go. Let's do it. So I'm gonna book the Men's Rumble in minute detail, but I'm going to broadly cover the Women's Rumble first. Here are a couple of things I would like to see from the Women's Royal Rumble this 2022. Should be good. Should be Number one, Bailey returns with her old music oh, and those wow. wacky, waving, inflatable arm flailing tube men. Just one night only, give me Come on, let, can, we, can we just start mm. this year with some happiness? For <laughs> sake. Number two, an actual nice moment for Nikki A.S.H. and Rhea Ripley that isn't just Rhea one-shotting Nikki, dumping her out of the ring for Nikki to never be seen again. Charlotte announcing on her way to the ring that she intends to unify the Raw and SmackDown mm. Women's Championships at WrestleMania to digivolve and become the Omni Flare or the Brock <laughs> Les. Her. Number four, <laughs> Asuka player. returning and murdering the Bella Twins, forcing them to eat their own baseball cap slash headband to be as applicable as is Rumble tradition. I would like to Number see that. Number five, Lita and Trish finally meeting in the Royal Rumble. That would be cool. That would be a nice nostalgia moment, them standing off against each other. Crowd would pop for that. You didn't do that in the first one. You still haven't done it. Why won't you do it? And number six, Alexa Bliss using telekinesis or possession no. to eliminate someone from the rumble. You no. might as well no. do it to- No, no, <laughs> I can't bro. No, bro, I refuse, no, no. She comes back, the gimmick needs to be gone, no. Kelly Kelly, how hard can it be to possess that mind? That's mean, that, that, that hit that was me. heavy. That was. Kelly Kelly's great. She's not, though. So the final <laughs> four of the Women's Rumble <laughs> She's will not, be though. Asuka. Okay. Bailey. Okay. Charlotte. Okay. And Bianca Belair. All Becky, right. fresh off retaining over Dewdrop, if you can add him and Eve it. She interferes in the match, hits Bianca with the manhandle slam, which leads to her being eliminated by Charlotte. And once again, Becky has dodged being in a one-on-one -on -one match situation mm. with Bianca Belair. But of course, on the road to WrestleMania, Elimination Chamber, blah, 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 that, mm -hmm. that's obviously the match we're gonna get at Mania. Charlotte then grabs a chair, just batters the piss out of Asuka, because Charlotte's seen what Asuka can do at WrestleMania. She's like, I don't, nope, don't want none of you. Mm -mm -mm. And she eliminates Asuka. We're down to two. Charlotte versus Bailey. Bailey wins the Women's Rumble 2022. Mm. Just as a thank you for, you know, carrying the division on her back during the pandemic mm. alongside Sasha okay. Banks. 
Thanks very much, guys. That, I'm okay with that. I, I seen a lot of you guys saying Bailey. I think that would be cool. If, you know, if she came back and she won it. Uh, the question is, will she stick with the the happy gimmick, or will she go back to being a heel? I think it would make sense for her to be a face. Obviously, if she uh, ends up winning it and challenging uh, um, Charlotte Flair for the title, Charlotte is still a heel, so I think that would be pretty cool. But we'll see. We'll see if that happens. But I like Bailey winning it. Guys, Sasha Banks would be featured in this Rumble summer, but she's out with injury. Hopefully, she returns before WrestleMania, and then her and Bailey can get the the thank you of the SmackDown Women's Championship match with Charlotte in a triple threat at Mania, which I think would be great. Now on to the Men's Rumble 2022, mm -hmm. and a few notable omissions before we start. I've been a good boy and put everyone that's announced for the Rumble in the Rumble. That is, I'm recording this Friday the 21st of January, and all of this is true as of Wikipedia, but I am very much Looking forward to literally tonight on SmackDown. I don't know, WWE announcing that they've cloned 15 Summer Rays and that's making up the rest of the portion of the Men's Royal Rumble and just to f with me. So if, <laughs> if you're watching this when it comes out a week from now and you're like, oh, actually, I think you'll find that Finn Balor injured his penis on SmackDown. So now he can't be in the Rumble and you've booked him in the Rumble. Then those are fair criticisms and I'll take them on board. Who will not be in the Rumble though is Drew McIntyre yeah. because he's recuperating a neck injury. So he's, he's unfortunate to be in it. Where possible, I've tried not to put tag teams in the Rumble because like you have championships that you guys want. It's called the Tag Team Championships. So that explains mm -hmm. why Riddle, Randy Orton, Alpha Academy, Usos, Viking Raiders, they're not in the match. I have put some teams in because WWE announced them. Yeah. That, that's why. <laughs> yes. So we're at the Royal Rumble. I like how he has to explain all these things because you know someone's going to comment it. <laughs> Rumble pay-per-view and uh, before this match begins, some context. Previously on the card, Riddle and Randy Orton failed to regain their tag team championships from Alpha Academy, which started the whole, like, Break up tension, will they, won't they, feud heading into WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks Randy's going to turn on Riddle. You really should have Riddle turn on Randy. That would be... Like heel riddle, that would work. Like that would be cool if uh, a lot of people are expecting Randy to turn because that's what Randy does. He just turns on people. He's a viper. He just strikes whenever. But that would be an incredible swerve if Matt Riddle turned heel and he was more serious. I would be all for that. And if Randy puts him over, <laughs> sign me up. Sign me up. Like in he can kill you so yeah, do that usos retain against the viking raiders edge and beth phoenix beat miz and maurice brock lesnar retains the wwe championship clean against bobbles lashford but mm. then he interferes in the universal championship match between seth and roman planting roman with an f5 then he's hit with a stomp seth rollins pins roman reigns no. No! Please don't let that happen. You all, bro, you don't understand how pissed Dub would be. Dub would be fucking irate if that happens. God, no. And I don't want his reign to end like that. His reign should be someone beating him clean. That's just my personal opinion, but all right, we'll, we'll continue. To become the new universal no champion. also on this show just a few things to point out Corey Graves is on commentary and for some reason it's being a lot more of a dick to Byron Saxton than he normally is which is already quite a dick indeed and there's also a backstage through line of Sami Zayn repeatedly running into pranks which have been left for him by the jackass team he gets really annoyed about it and goes to the room where the person is with the tombola and all the numbers and he says you you know the number I want you get out of the way. He opens up the tombola, looks, 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 finds the number he wants, and then says, why I ought to? And leaves, why you know, that's I a lot of context to go into it, but you know, it might all pay off in the rumble, is hoping. And that is where we're starting right now. Entrant number one. No, he doesn't want any. 
No, correct, he does not want any. It's AJ Styles. Mm. Stepping into the role of Iron Man number one, it is entrant number one, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, who promises to knock those 29 other men flatter than, well, you know. And speaking of radical theories, Austin Theory is number okay. two. Vince's new Tamagotchi, who he has so far managed to not kill or discipline to death. He comes out and he's had a meeting with Vince before the Rumble match starts. Vince says, oh, that's a pal. I want the whole Royal Rumble. <laughs> that's how Vince so sounds now. I the Rumble from number two. Where's me? Where have you seen it? Have you seen it? Where's me? <laughs> he Vince seen does Where's sound man? like that. How are you saying? Theory and Styles <laughs> begin the Royal Rumble 2022. Uh, they lock up and do, and I want to use the correct industry <clears throat> term here, good wrestling. Number three, <laughs> good wrestling. Ricochet. And speaking of good wrestling, poor Ricky. The Pew Pew dude jumps in, does a few flip along Cassidy's with AJ Styles and Austin Theory who are made of the same brand of slinky as him. Also, can we please let Ricochet hit a 630 splash? That'd be cool. Like once, I haven't seen him do it in ages. That's possibly because I don't watch Raw. Why would I do that? But yeah. it's the Royal Rumble. Like he's not gonna be in this Rumble for very long, spoilers. So please let Ricochet hit a 630 on Austin Theory. Please. So he hits it, he hits all of it. Austin Theory rolls out to the outside to, you know, recuperate. In comes number four. He is here to show the world. He's here to show the world. Bring it on. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler. Now, I like Dolph. I think Bring he's it got on. good hair, great chin, and he's very good at bumping for wrestlers who are not quite as good yeah, as him. He's why he's here. Selling. Number five is Amos on here. I like Amos's how music. Amos, they put the graphic. <laughs> He's outside of the damn graphic. I like that. That was a nice touch. AJ Styles gets more angry than the last time he was in London and someone suggested he see a play at Shakespeare's Globe. He gets in Amos's face, demand that he turn around, eliminate himself and go back up that ramp. Amos then, of course, snatches him up for the Kali bomb. What's it called? when Omos does it. It's like, you know, the thing that Carly and him do where they pick you up and then they just go, ah. <laughs> what? It always looks bad. What's uh. it called? I don't care. So he hits that to Styles. Ricochet springboards into Omos. He wobbles, doesn't quite fall off his feet. Ziggler hits a super kick. He almost wobbles, doesn't quite leave his feet. Then Ricochet goes for one more top rope maneuver. Omos catches him and then just him through Dolph Ziggler and both men tumble to the outside. <clears throat> Almost <clears throat> ricochet through Dolph Ziggler. I do say horrible things. Yeah. So Ziggles and Ricky are both eliminated. Austin Theory steps up to Omos. Staggers him a little, but then Omos catches him and is lifting him up in the air for a gorilla press slam, when suddenly, from out of nowhere, comes AJ Styles with a phenomenal forearm, hits Omos right in the face, he falls, and Austin Theory lands on top of him just in time for number six, Montez Ford. Ford immediately hops up to the top rope and hits mm -hmm. his wonderful, beautiful, amazing frog splash it is on beautiful Omos. Frog Styles splash. then takes control and is like, right, you, it's all get him up and get him right on out of here. I, I, I can't do a Georgian accent, but I'm assuming that's what it sounds like. No, Styles is directing traffic. They pick Omos up. They get him over to the rope. They're trying to lift him up when suddenly Omos does boom that thing from the Matrix reloaded with Neo and all of the agents met. Boom! He's dust in theory. He's just flying everywhere. Omos lays everyone out. Once again, just in time for number seven, Dominic Mysterio. Hmm. Aw, he's a real boy. Dominic, Shut true up. Mysterio <laughs> that he is, is unafraid to step up to the giant, but it doesn't work. Almost yeah. just straight kicks him in the face and then, I don't know, just like stamps on his dick like eight times. One. Why though? Two. <laughs> Why? It's a third stamp to the dick. <laughs> what? Now comes four. Five, take a little break, 
Six, seven, eight. Oh my God, the triple threat. And speaking <laughs> of eight, number eight, Rey Mysterio. Okay. Poor, poor old dad. That's a hell of a thing to see happen to your son, Wingus. Almost has Dominic up for the Carly bomb or whatever it's called, when Rey Mysterio springboard does a little sit down thing and both Mysterios land on top of Omos and Dominic just starts going mental. They're like, ah! Just sees Red and just pounding, pounding, pounding on top of Omos. And he just kind of rips open his chest thing and he's like, ah! They pick up Omos, they take him <laughs> to the ropes and it looks like the father and son team may be able to pull off a miracle and topple the giant when accidentally Dominic clotheslines out his own dad instead. Oh, mm. God. And then our boss just kind of heaves him out afterwards. Both Mysterios have been eliminated. I can see that. Oh, what's the dad to do about this, my disappointing boy? After <laughs> 10 minutes of destruction, can anyone stop Amas? In comes number nine, Walter. Not Yeah, not that Gunther. Other, not that Cause other trash no, name. We'll get used to it, won't we? Because WWE aren't going to stop. They're just going to keep calling him Gunther. Not even Gunther. Gunther, the guy from the coffee place, Gunther. They're going to keep calling him that. And we'll just get used to it like we got used to all the other things. But like, n no, this is no, this is the line. We're drawing in. We can stop this. We can do it. We just have to not stop. Right? Because Walter has Walter. been a champion for over 800 days in Walter, the company. The and he's put on, Walter. in the last few years, some of the greatest wrestling matches of the decade. No. No, he's Walter. He's Walter. You crazy sons of f***ing <laughs> bitches. No. Anyway, point is, Walter steps up to Almas, chops him, and Almas immediately dies. The record <laughs> fall was one. He said he immediately dies. Walter's chops. I... You couldn't pay me no money in the world to take a, a chop from Walter, bro. His chops, one chop is like a gunshot, a shotgun to your chest. I'm good. Uh, nah, bro. His chops are so brutal, it will probably bring my asthma back. I'm good, bro. I'm good. On swing of the axe. It's wonderful. Shot. Walter picks up Amos and turfs him out of the ring. Perfect. God Bless you, you big Austrian baby man. Number 10, Angelo That'll Dawkins. Be good. The Street be good Profits moment. are united and team up to try to take down Walter. They ask him if he wants the smoke, but Walter doesn't understand that lingo and kills both of them. Just chops them both to death. Styles flies into frame with a phenomenal forearm from out of nowhere. And the Street Profits see this and oh God, he's staggering and they try to rush him, but he just bang. Both of them die, and he picks them up and throws them out of the, literally chops them both yeah. out of the ring. Street Profits are eliminated. In comes number 11, Finn Balor, or Finn Balor, as William Regal used to announce him. God, I miss William Regal. The yep, most penis man in the history of the Royal Rumble enters the ring, and with all the ghosts of the fallen NXT souls at his back, he rides towards Walter <laughs> with one thought in mind. Stop him, kill him before he lays eggs. Bala goes <laughs> hog wild on Walter, and by hog, I mean his dick, but also I don't mean that. Bala is finally the one who is able to knock Walter down when he does that double kind of drop kick thing mm -hmm. into the corner. Things start to settle down when entering at number 12, <sighs> it's Corey Graves. After mm. almost eight years on the shelf, confined to the same no contact list that saw Paige, Daniel Bryan, Edge, Corey Graves. Yeah, I did hear that, that uh, he, he maybe uh, he's cleared to, to wrestle again. So that would be interesting. I actually would be interested in seeing that him being in the Royal Rome, but that would be a, a nice surprise. Has miraculously been cleared for active competition again, and what better way to bring him back than here at the Royal Rumble. That'd be cool. He stands up, takes off his shiny paisley jacket to reveal a shiny paisley wrestling singlet underneath. He says something really horrible to Byron Saxton. Then he gets in the ring, he spears AJ Styles, spears Austin Theory, spears Finn Balor, tries to spear Walter, but Walter kills him, of course. Yeah. Corey Graves rolls out of the ring to try and recollect himself when Byron Saxton says, don't worry, buddy, you'll get him next time. And Corey Graves just slaps him 
in the face and then gets back into the ring and that camera just holds on Byron Saxton. Oh, Lord. And you just see him change. Byron goes rogue! Yes! <laughs> yes! Put in the chat, Byron Saxton goes rogue. That's what we need in this Royal Rumble. It's Byron going rogue. I ain't gonna lie to you. Byron has always been super cringe. So to see this man get slapped in the face, and he says, you know what? I'm not having this shit. He goes rogue. Sign me up. <laughs> you know what? That's all I can stand. I can't I stand, can't stand no, no more. more. <laughs> he rushes into the ring in full suit. He takes Corey Graves down. He mounts him and just beats the shit out of him. Saxton walks back to the commentary table, does up his tie, and then Austin Theory picks up Corey Graves and eliminates him. That would be cool. The crowd would cheer for that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I think the crowd... <laughs> Saxton would probably be the first... That would be the first time we get a pop. That would be Royal cool. Rumble. Get yours, Byron. There's a good lad. Number 13, that'll be, Cesaro. That'll be interesting. <laughs> Big Tony slides into the ring and him and Walter recreate a few of their spots from their recent series of matches they did on the European tour. I, I can't believe I never got to see that match. That sounds really great. Anyway, they do some of it here. That would Number be pretty 14, impressive. Number 14, enters the fray, Walter Damian Priest. Versus, uh, Walter versus Cesaro, a little little mini feud within the, in the, in the match. I would like that. US champion enters all smiles in his Dr. Jekyll persona before immediately getting chopped by Walter Woo! and immediately becoming Mr. Hyde. Just wide-eyed, going mental. He grabs the US title and he just clatters Walter with it. He just clatters him again and again. He calls over Finn Balor. Both him and Finn Balor manage to grab a leg of Walter's and then ah, they manage to eliminate Walter from the Rumble before Damien Priest then picks up the title. And because he's still hopped up on that rage, he clatters Finn Balor <laughs> as well and then ah, eliminates him before he can finally calm himself. Down. As he is calming himself down, AJ Styles flies in again and hits another <laughs> phenomenal forearm. Doing these phenomenal forearms. Nowhere. It's just the thing I want AJ to keep doing in this rumble. When a spot ends, the final punctuation mark is AJ Styles flies in from off camera with a phenomenal forearm. It just makes me laugh. Number 15, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn runs in and sees that the other four men still left in the rumble are Cesaro, AJ Styles, Damian Priest, and Austin Theory. And they're all getting to their feet in a separate corner of the ring. Da 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 da. Sammy Power. Sammy Power. He runs and hits a haluba kick on AJ Styles, then Cesaro, then Austin Theory, then Damian Priest, and then he reaches for a microphone and he cuts a promo about, I deserve some goddamned respect, okay? I I am a professional, a professional wrestler. I can wrestler, see his character doing that. I deserve, I demand your respect, and I know who's coming next, and by God, I am going to beat some respect into them. In comes number 16, Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville arrives looking like me after I've been awake for eight weeks straight. He comes out and he stands at the top of the ramp. Sami Zayn just bellows at him through the microphone. I hate you. Grow up. You're stupid and so is your show. You are immature. You are responsible for the lessening of an entire generation of minds. Now get down to this ring and I'm going to beat the hell out of you. However, Knoxville just stands there and he points to the back and then out comes, and I've never seen Jackass, so I have got Luke Owen to write down oh uh, my a God. couple of the names here on this little tablet. Uh, Luke Owen uh, culturally never left the early 2000s. So that's really <laughs> helpful. Uh, out comes Steve Zero. O? Steve O? Steve O. Uh, Chris <laughs> Ponty. He said Steve Zero. No, it's Steve O, man. I'm not sure if Jackass was probably that popular like that in the UK or overseas, but in America it was. It was back, back when I was a kid, that was the thing to watch. Just. <laughs> White boys doing wild shit. <laughs> yes, we man. Uh, he's underlined not Bam Margera. Not Bam Margera. Bam Margera. <laughs> I'm not sure what. I don't want to get into that. I have no idea. Preston Lacey and Dave England. 
Is that his real name? Dave England. They all come out and join Johnny Knoxville on the ramp, and then they all come down to the ring, and they kick Sami Zayn to death. They pick him up, throw him over the top rope, and then the rest of the Jackass crew that isn't Johnny Knoxville, they pick him up and they take him to the back, presumably to enact some pranks with a Z. I don't know, <laughs> something about skateboarding. Cowabunga. Johnny Knoxville stands in the ring, puts up his dukes. I'm the man. In comes number 17, Kane. Because I genuinely can't resist. It's such a lame reason, but I cannot resist. Knoxville versus Knox County. Wow. Come on, that's wow. some fun. Wow. All right, but also Kane, I don't want the last time we see Kane to be in a rumble with no one in attendance, no fans. Because come on, like, it's yeah. Kane. He's genuinely one of the best characters in the history of wrestling. And 21 years after he came out and made Drew Carey wet himself, he's going to do the same thing. <laughs> tie it all off. He picks up Knoxville, and because I think Knoxville would be game for this, he hits him with the tombstone pile driver and then yeah. throws him over the top rope. Right? If yeah. there's anybody that would be game to take a tombstone pile driver from somebody, it's definitely Johnny Knoxville. Hell, all the cast of Jackass would love to do these spots. Because they've seen him growing up. We've all seen him growing up. And I um, go and see Jackass Forever, I guess. We're not sponsored by him. Luke is going to go and see it. Cowabunga. Number 18, Madcap Moss. I have to put him in it. He, he's been announced on Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. But they didn't say anything about not subjecting him to a terrible time. He takes a choke slam. He takes a phenomenal <laughs> forearm. He takes an ATL. He takes a European uppercut. All that jazz. Before in comes number 19, X-Pac. Another nostalgia pop for the mm. middle portion of the rumble where you can kind of do the, the silly stuff. X-Pac has apparently been cleared to wrestle on the indies. Hope he doesn't blow his asshole out again. And he's always what? remained fairly tight with WWE, even when he's on literally one of their live streams, slagging off their product. Mm -hmm. the product. Uh, he was slagging off was, of course, Hell in a Cell 2019. It's a fair play to him. He yeah. hits Madcap Moss with the Bronco Buster because, again, it can't be emphasized how much of a bad time I would like Madcap Moss to have before x <laughs> turns to face Kane that would be, in the middle of the that ring. That would be interesting. And everyone who remembers the Attitude Era yeah. will remember their, their friendship, their team, and their eternal feud. The yeah. two men finally hug in the middle of the ring Kane forgives X Park. The feud is over. That'd be cool. That'd it's be cool. Finally moment. over. Be Number cool. twenty. Be Happy cool. Corbin. <laughs> In he comes, and because love is dead, and so is God. Him and Madcap Moss eliminate Kane and X Park. Sorry. They grab some microphones and then they start telling jokes. For example, Malady, 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 Malady. Well, that's the formalities out of the way. That's Tim Vine's joke. And it's a much better <sighs> joke than Happy Corbin or Mad Cat Moss would ever tell. Anyway, point is, they're being uh, horrible. Probably so. Cesaro comes in and starts beating up both men by probably himself so. as he can, and he's Swiss. He knocks them both down, picks up them both by the legs, and swings both of them around in a giant swing. I honestly reckon Tony could do it. In comes 21, cool. Big E. Poor Big E. Sorry about the year so far. Can yeah. we please give Biggie some nice things in 2022? Starting with this, the power of positivity slides in, just poys Mad Cat <laughs> Moss into Whee! space. Just through the ceiling of the stadium. Out he goes. <laughs> in comes number 22, Seamus. Seamus, Biggie, and Cesaro have a three-way horse rumble when suddenly everyone is taken down by Damian Priest. In comes 23, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens arrives. He pokes Damian Priest in the eye before hitting him with a stunner and then hitting Austin Theory with a stunner and then hitting AJ Styles with a stunner. He eliminates Damian Priest. Priest, he throws him over the top rope and then does a cannonball run into Cesaro, Styles, Theory. Does a cannonball roll into Big E. Stands there saying, this is, I, I'm the whole, this is the Kevin Owens show. That's what he says. This is the Kevin Owens show. In comes number 24, King Woods. What would a Royal Rumble be 
without its king. Out comes King Woods, carried to the ring on a throne. <laughs> He's found four local wrestlers from the area. He's dressed them up like crew, but fancy crew with little capes on, and they're carrying his throne down to the ring. He jumps from his throne onto the top rope and springboards onto Happy Corbin, the former king being assaulted by the current king. Enter number 25, Nakamura. It's a regal three-way. I hate, I did not enjoy saying that. Three men what? who have all been kings <laughs> batter the royal hell out of each other in the Royal Rumble. Before Big E comes back in to turn the tide in Woods' favor and both men eliminate Happy Corbin See you later. Number 26, in comes Ridge Holland. Nah, I'm not sure about this, because I know he, he's just broken his nose. Oh, day damn. One. Which, by the way, like, after Sheamus spent almost the entirety of 2021 breaking his nose, and then he brings Ridge Holland into this tag team with him, and then literally on the first day of 2022, Ridge Holland breaks his nose. Like, I, I don't know if he'd be medically cleared, but I just wanted to come down to the Rumble in exactly the same nose protector that Sheamus kept wearing, mm -hmm. and he's brought one for Sheamus as well. Can never be too careful, Sheamus. Sheamus puts it on <laughs> both men with a little be funny. on. Team up to eliminate Cesaro because of Debar. Number 27, Kofi Kingston, it's a new day. Reunion, yes it is. All three members of the new day reunite at the Royal Rumble and they hug it out to much acclaim. They then team up to eliminate Sheamus and Ridge Holland. Let's okay, get interesting, Ridge interesting. Holland out of there quickly before more damage is done. Enter number 28, Tommaso Ciampa. Mm. Let's just get him out of NXT before too much more damage is done. Have the, th the thing is, him being in NXT doesn't really work. In, I mean, it, it it works, but not as much as it used to because how NXT is now. But I'm afraid for him to be on the main roster too. So it's like, it, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But hopefully he has a good showing if he is in the Royal Rumble. That would be cool. Him cool. and Shinsuke Nakamura find each other in the middle of the Rumble. That would be cool. I'd like to see that. Champa plants Nax with the Widow's Bell and eliminates him. That sets up maybe a little something something. I'll be down for that. to WrestleMania. Champa stands for that. there just happy to be out of NXT 2.0, yes. surveys the crowd, and then from out of nowhere, AJ Styles flies in with a Give phenomenal AJ Styles. So currently in the ring are the following. AJ Styles, Austin Theory, numbers one and two, they're still in there. All of the New Day, Kevin Owens, and of course, Tommaso Ciampa. Most men are down. All of them are weary when in comes number 29, Goldberg. Now, now I almost turned off the video. I almost turned off the video. Adam knew. I was about to turn off this video. I, I, boy, boy, I was going to turn off this video, give it a dislike, and that was going to be the end of it. Let's get back into it. Listen. Yes, but I'm going somewhere with this. Goldberg Please. comes in. It better shot. be good, Adam. Uh, he's about to hit Austin. It better Theory be good, Austin. Adam. Said, wait, 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 wait. He goes out of the ring. He grabs his phone. He just wants to take a, a selfie with Goldberg. Puts his arm around him. Goldberg picks him up and throws him over the top rope with hopefully Austin Theory managing to get a selfie of himself being eliminated on the way out. Goldberg then spears Tommaso Ciampa, picks him up. He eliminates him. And as one... That just made me mad. Oldberg eliminating Tommaso Ciampa just made me upset. Contestant left, number 30. It's the rated R superstar. It's Edge. Mm. After beating The Miz earlier in the night and after winning the entire Rumble from number one the previous year, entering number 30 is everyone's favorite Adam. It's Edge. Him and Goldberg stand eye to eye to each okay. other. They run away from each other into the ropes, rebound, and just into each other with a spear. I, 
every time I forget how much that hurts. Right, Goldberg sound like gets to his feet first. He spears both Woods and Kingston at the same time. He picks them up and he throws them over the top rope, but they land on the ring apron. And then he pushes them both off the ring apron and they fly and land in the throne that is still being carried at ringside. So Woods and Kofi Kingston are both on this throne platform and they tell the people carrying the throne, like, okay, just go, go around the ring, let's avoid Goldberg. And they go all the way around the ring, but Goldberg is there. They're like, okay, go back, go back, okay, just go back. They go back around the ring, Goldberg is there and like, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna stay here. Goldberg gets out of the ring under the bottom rope and he just pushes the throne over all of the people holding it, all of the people in the throne, they all tumble to the floor. Woods and Kingston are eliminated. Not liking this, and man. This makes Big E mad. Mm. Big E's okay. pissed. Okay. Okay. Let me see where you're going with this. And wails on Goldberg and using the power of positivity <laughs> and revenge and also his muscles, Big E single handedly eliminates Goldberg. The final four then, Edge. All right, cool, I can live with that. I can live with that, that's fine. I can live with that. AJ Styles, Big E, and Kevin Owens. Mm. Styles and Edge meet in the ring. Edge, of course, returning to the Royal Rumble and immediately injuring AJ Styles. AJ offers him a handshake, you know, all is forgiven and all that. Then he offers him a test of strength and kicks Edge square in the penis. With that, he picks up Edge and he throws him out of the ring doing that. Styles then hits a Styles clash on Kevin Owens and then he sees Big E getting to his feet so he goes to the ring apron and he, he's ready, he's, oh, he's ready and he gets up on the ring apron and he springboards two hits, one more phenomenal forearm when he snatched out well, of yeah. the air by a spear Woo! from Edge. That'd Big E cool. picks up AJ Styles, throws him over the top rope. Two men remaining in the 2022 Royal Rumble, Big E and Kevin Owens. Now, mm. you really could go either way with this. You I could. know a lot of people really want Big E to win this Royal Rumble after a really crappy end yeah. to his WWE Championship reign, which never really felt like it had a chance to get going. He had that really good match with Drew McIntyre, never forget that. After that, people think that maybe Big E should get a win here, but actually I would hold off until SummerSlam to be the time where you recrown Big E. Just have a longer road to redemption mm -hmm. storyline. I'm okay have with it that. End in a summer of positivity, that being the name of the whole storyline. And it starts in earnest at WrestleMania. Big E going one on one and beating Goldberg. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, Adam. If this is a way to get Big E over and and for him to get on that road back to gaining the title again at some point, and he has to go through Goldberg, that's a good one. I'm okay with that. Which also is something that Big E really wants to do. So that would be nice, wouldn't it? To give him something that he really wants. That'd Kevin cool. Owens and Big E battle for a few minutes before once again, Kevin Owens jams a thumb in Big E's eye, hits him with a stunner. Big E doesn't fall. He just stumbles backwards. Kevin Owens runs in and clotheslines him over the top rope. Kevin Owens. That's cool. Is your winner of I'm the okay 2022 Royal Rumble. I'm okay and He goes that. on to face his current friend, but Kevin Owens does not understand the meaning of the word friend. Seth Rollins for Universal Championship at Mania. And this is generally yeah, what still the main like is looking like in my head. Bianca versus Becky for the Raw Women's Championship. Bailey versus Charlotte versus Sasha in a triple threat for the SmackDown Women's Championship. <coughs> Big E versus Goldberg. Edge versus AJ. Now that's a match. Sign me up. Edge, AJ Styles. Sign me up. I'm okay with that happening at WrestleMania. Styles, Finn Balor versus Damian Priest versus Walter for the US Championship. Okay. Tommaso Ciampa versus Cesaro versus Nakamura for the Intercontinental Championship. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins for the Universal. And Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. I don't know. Eh. I think some of that looks good. Some of it does. It does.
And also Ray versus his kid. What? Ray versus Dominic. <laughs> Why not? I, he, I think he wants the match. So yeah, father and son. Where else would be at WrestleMania? That, that would be. It's how I would. That would be interesting too. I don't know how they. It depends on how they built up the story, but I think that would be. I think that's gonna gonna be a match that they ultimately end up doing at some point. But yeah, man, this was uh, this was dope. Uh, I enjoyed. Uh, majority of his uh his uh booking of this i'd still i will i'm gonna be the person that dies on the hill that says roman should not be losing to seth no matter what the situation is i don't care if someone interferes that no you don't end the rank to me you just don't end a, a long title reign that way that's just my personal opinion but comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy his booking of the royal rumble 2022 and what who would you want to win this year's Royal Rumble, um, I, me personally, I'm still, I'm still in that camp of AJ Styles probably winning it. That would probably be my pick, but I do like him saying Kevin Owens would be a good pick as well. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.